Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk about Asherman's syndrome, also known as intrauterine adhesions. So, intrauterine adhesions are web like uh, scar tissue or adhesions that we like to call them uh, that connect the front end of the uterine uh, wall to the back end. So, they look like web like structures within the uterus itself. So, a key symptom of uh, Asherman's syndrome that we see is that. Uh, either there is a significantly reduced volume in your menses or there is a complete absence of uh, menses over a period of uh, three to six months where you see no menses at all. It could very likely be Asherman syndrome. Now, how is Asherman syndrome actually caused? Uh, it's commonly associated with uh, surgeries of the uterus, some form of trauma that has uh, damaged the endometrium of your uterus so this can be either uh, pregnancy termination where you do a DNC uh, abortion it can also be uh, caused by some trauma during child delivery uh, and also other types of surgery that involve the uterus now, all of this can damage the very soft tissue that line the endometrium causing this scarring tissue that form as part of the healing process causing this uh, uh, intrauterine adhesions so symptoms include as we mentioned which is a significantly reduced menses or absent completely absent menses secondly you can also uh, look at if you have uh, pelvic pains some menstrual cramps that is consistent but you don't have any menses this is also another symptom and also you have a history of a uh, recurrent miscarriage or infertility. It could very likely be Asherman syndrome. So diagnosis for this condition is that we will usually use ultrasound to measure the endometrium length. Usually Asherman's is uh, associated with very thin endometrium lining and in some cases we can actually observe the adhesions uh, with ultrasound itself. So once you're confirmed to be a case of uh, Asherman syndrome, treatment will include using hysteroscopy which is simply a telescope that is uh, entered into the uterine cavity via the cervix or via the vagina and we will accurately pinpoint the locations of the adhesions and then we will uh, remove them one by one all of these adhesions must be removed and then we will place the intrauterine stent uh, to make sure that these uh, adhesions don't come back and then they again reform and then connect the, uh, the front wall and the back wall together. And then the final step is that we will place a bioadhesion barrier to promote recovery. So upon surgery, three to six months of recovery, a patient can then go on to conceive, go on to have full-term healthy pregnancies. So to find out more information about a diagnosis and treatment of Asherman syndrome, also known as intrauterine adhesion, uh, please visit our website and also leave leave a comment down below for me.